The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. here with realagriculture.com for another episode of the canola school and joining us right now is alberta entomologist scott Mears. scott how's it going it's going great yeah let's talk about the bertha armyworm this oh. is definitely one of the uh, pests out there that there, you have some concern about the the levels this year yeah so we do we do a, a province-wide monitoring with the help of dozens hundreds actually of of agrologists across alberta and we've been through a, a series of years where Bertha was totally a non-factor. That's changing now. In central Alberta, we're seeing numbers that are starting to concern us. Um, we're still a couple weeks left in the monitoring, um, but it looks like we're, we're well into the flight. So areas around Camrose, into Beaver County, uh, and then a few smatterings of other ones further east, we're, we're seeing numbers where we're gonna have to be scouting just to be on the safe side. When is the proper time to scout? So as as the canola leaves dry off or are consumed by the birth armyworm, they'll move up onto the pods. And that's really when we're concerned. Typically in central Alberta, that's that's the last week of July into early August. So why? Why are the levels higher this year? Um, I've, I've been calling it for a couple of years now. So if you keep saying it's going to come back, it comes back. Right? <laughs> just like the stock market. Yeah, just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, we're on, we're on a bull run for birth armyworm. No, uh, we've been in a typical, we've been in an atypically long, low spell. And, and now they're coming back. It's, it's a cyclical pest and, and their time is coming. It'll be this year, probably next year and maybe into maybe into 2020. Is there, is there a right time to control the pest? Yeah, so um, basically once they start moving up onto the pods and, and feeding on the pods, that's the timing. So it, it's, it's really hard to say exactly when that's going to happen. There's so much variability this year. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's, crops are all over the place. Um, but typically, as, as I mentioned, that's, that's late July, early August in central Alberta. Is there your regular insecticides that people are using or is there a better control of them? Yeah, the regular insecticides. Um, you know, there's there's several registered products. I really like the new new products that are a little bit softer, but um, but yeah, you know, they're they're not hard to control. It's just getting out there on time. Okay, Scott. Thanks a lot. You bet.